Hello there, humans of these earthlings, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too on Bosch Grenades Patch Day. Uh, and that being the case, I'm going to be showing you the new FV4005 and the the new pride of Brit Tier 10 TDs. And I'm going to get this out of the way very, very early in the piece. It's not OP. It's not even close to OP. Uh, in fact, it can be said that you know, it's actually a pretty easy tank to take down. You're HE penable just about everywhere, um, which is pretty crazy. But you can see here I'm using the consumable, which drops your shell reload time to about 2.1 seconds instead of 3. So, a lot of the tank's success is tied into the use of those Brit TD consumables. And I run it with the, uh, the burst, the engine burst, which allows you to just bust out and I go very very quickly and it is a very very maneuverable tank once you uh get that consumable up and rolling i'll tell you that for nothing have a look at this thing when you hit that button it really does motor it's very very noticeable um and the other thing that i would also point out is that its he pen is very very poor for a tier 10 td only 65 millimeters of high explosive pen and that makes that i really think that's a bit crap because that makes the that makes the whole auto loader into, say, a, a bat chat or a grill uh, or something much harder to, to actually both envisage and pull off. But for all that, I mean, you can still hunt the grill. The grill is going to be your natural prey, really. You're, you're really after grills. Um, but in terms of DPM, you're reasonable. 3,400 DPM. Uh, it's reasonably mobile it's got a turret but it doesn't feel like anything i've played before in terms of a td and that's great i love tanks that are different hey i really really do it's a big selling point for me tanks that are different and interesting uh, and the pen on the ap and the apcr is gorgeous you've got 280 millimeters of ap pen and 370 millimeters of apcr pen uh, i don't bother running the uh calibrated shells on this auto later because you just get so little value for money out of calibrated shells when you're talking about AP and APCR. If it had heat as its primary uh, promo, then happy days would be all over it. You can see there's 688, max roll on the grill, pumping and bumping, and then just getting a crappy roll on the grill, but you know that's enough to clear him. And this is really what you want to be doing with the tank. It's got an 18 kilometer an hour uh, backup speed, which is good apparently on PC. They nerf the crap out of that few big issues to point out the tank is enormous the turret is so tall so incredibly tall that it negates a lot of the positions that you'd usually use uh this tank in uh, there's a lot of bushes and and generally soft cover that you quite simply can't fit behind like the, they're not tall enough uh or from certain angles you'll be visible and that's devastating um i would also point out you have extra provisions on these brute tds you should be running those extra provisions, different kinds of provisions. You're going to see that. Um, look at look at the HE pen. That's a tank with like 10 millimeters of freaking armor. Um, you don't want to be hitting that. I'm backing up there because I'm so deathly afraid of getting uh, a big smacking by one of those blokes over there with HE. And then uh, the gun, it is fairly accurate, but it's it's certainly not the laser beam that you'd expect out of a top end brick td that's got a you know a, a bloody 123 millimeter gun on it it's 0.323 but it's very hard to cod um you can see here even with the engine boost off i drop the uh the adrenaline the autoloader adrenaline there and it takes it down to 2.1 seconds between shells which is great love that that's brilliant um I, it's a couple of things like this was a great team by the way this team did so well uh, so very very well the spore liner that you can run makes a huge difference a lot of people don't this is the thing when these TDs first come out right so people don't realise it's got a spore liner on it so they see something that they can pen with HE and they immediately start shooting it with HE because it's got such crap armour but you've got a 20% spore liner, right? And that will take a huge chunk off the incoming damage. And it's it's a lovely, a lovely bit of kit for a tank that really, really needs every bit of advantage it can. That being said, 
its biggest joy is its mobility. The mobility on the tank is is wonderful. A lot of people also don't realize that this tank is an autoloader in the early piece, so you fire and they come back out. I think it's going to struggle, personally, at tier 10. There are so many tanks that um, are just seem preordained to take advantage of a tank like this that does not have the armor or the concealment. I mean, look at the size of the thing. I mean, just look at the size of the thing. It is absolutely enormous. It can, however, dump um, in a base time of six seconds. I love running into turrets now. A base time of six seconds. It can dump three, four, sixty alpha shells, which is not to be scoffed at. That's going to give you a whole ass load of damage. I'll show you one full game. Watch me drop the uh, the engine boost here. And look at the thing go. Like, it's nothing like any TD I've seen before. And it does look very, very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, look at it roll. Like, it is absolutely fanging to get across to this far section of the map. Uh, very impressed with that, that kickstart mobility. And you can use that engine boost multiple times. I run it with a multi-kit, you can see there, as well as the autoloader adrenaline. Which, to, to, I mean, to be honest, the, it's the star of the show, but I really think the, the improved engine power boost is far more important. It gives you 50% to your engine power, which basically also gives you 10% to traverse speed, another 10 kilometers an hour reverse speed, and an 8 kilometers an hour forward speed and goes for 15 seconds. Now that's, that's really, really important. The turret, you're going to see a few times, I'm just going to get dinged by this Leopard 1 up there. Um, that attachment that you can see is also not stock. That says tea time on the front where the machine gun is. That is not a stock attachment. Uh, I spent Wargaming's gold rooney on that one. Um, that's the Leopard 1 who's just putting shots through. And you can see how tall the tank is. Like, that turret is visible just above the rock. And that, that is a pretty scary thing. Uh, look at the size of the STB. Look at the, it's, it's, it's giant. It is a ginormous tank. And the, uh, it says tea time too, that, that machine gun um, shield, which is super cool as far as I'm concerned. I haven't driven the charioteer and everything else a lot, but I have driven the FV a lot. 25 games so far in it. Only 56% win rate, um, 2,600 average damage. Both of those I was a little bit disappointed in, but to be honest, it's patch day and... Yeah, wow, I had some crazy teams. So I got over 5k in it, or at 5k a bunch of times, and I didn't get a mastery badge in it, which, which says something. Uh, there's a lot of people playing it on the Asian server. A lot of people have bought it. You're going to see another shot in a wee short while from that E100 up the top, I think it is, that hits me from a... It's, it's like, if you can see this turret, you're going to pen it. It is so crazy. I, I got so few bounces in this tank. It was uh, one of the most easily penned tanks I've ever driven. And that's saying something. I mean, you can see over there, look at the turret from with AP. Like, 280 millimeters of AP. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Desperately doing something to stop the Leopard from getting me and the bloody... <laughs> The E100 hits me. Um, and then I back up. I'm trying to just stay alive here. The STB1's actually doing a pretty solid job, I think, of keeping us in the game. By by spotting and, and generally, uh, you know, just being a, a pest on that flank there. Do I think it has a place in Blitz? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to be anywhere near as influential to the game as its distant, well, not, yeah, well, distant relation, the FE215B 183? I mean, it's nothing like the 183. Uh, no, I don't. I really, really don't. Do I think it's going to be one of the more popular TDs? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't know, that might sound disingenuous, but it's really fun to play. It's a stupid tank that's really fun to play. And that makes up for a lot of errors. I mean, it's 
it's different. It's like playing a massive AMX 50B with 460 Alpha and even less armor, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but that's how it feels to me, which is, you know, nuts. Would I drive this or the 50B if I was trying to win? I'd probably drive the 50B, but for all that, it's got interesting consumables, it's got an interesting gun, uh, and it's got a 460 Alpha clip out, which gives you the opportunity to go real, real high. If it had higher HE shells, I think it would be more competitive because you just, once you get to know this tank, if you're in a tank that's borderline with the HE and you're moving around it very, very quickly, then it's it's a lay down Mazare that you just keep going. Look at this pen though, the pen is excellent. That's none of those, the first two were particularly easy shots, but they were very, very important shots to hit. And watch the acceleration as we push across here to get a shot at the Leo, the Jaegeru um, noob team GG. Wouldn't be patch day without Gosu giving us a, a big thumping. Um, that Jaegeru, I don't know why he wasn't able, he, he missed the poor old FV4005, he's in the Skux clan. And I kind of get wrecked here because um, I want to stop to talk to him. Look at the acceleration, he's going to get one into me, but he's only going to get one. I've got to clear this Leo. Acceleration on the move firing. That's pretty impressive, hey? Um, and there you go. That's a HE shell. And the 20% uh, to the the old spore liner is very, very important. It works really well as well. He's in Skuck, so I wanted to type Mojo would let me win. But I had to stop because I realized we were running out of time on the clock. And I go for the win here. I don't go for the draw. I could have got a draw, but, you know, draws are for, you know, draws count as a loss on the win rate. And he's played a hard game. I'm, I'm going to give him a shot at the title. Um, and he does the same thing. He comes out for the uh, for the ultimate, you know, battle royale as well. We both have a crack at the title here. I'm going to get one. Oh, and he's holding on to it. 30 seconds left. Let's see. Can we do it? No, he gets me. Good on him. Uh, Mojo GT. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. FV4005. Lovely tank. Interesting drive. Until next time, stay safe on the Z Battlefield and bye for now. See ya.